Greetings, peace and blessings. Happy, um, happy Monday. No, Sunday. Happy Sunday. I am the Moon Mama, and today is the day that the sun governs, and the sun is currently um, at 22 degrees of Leo. And 22 degrees is the degree of the dreams, like your the dream that you are. And one of the things that I really love about um, or alchemy and all of that kind of stuff is the realization that I come to experience as realizing this is really all a dream. <laughs> like, and there's no way to fucking explain it. There isn't. There's no way to explain it except to say that if you are someone who's on the path of um, self-realization or someone who's on the path of, of deep self-healing and transformation, really the fact that the truth of the matter is that we're all on the path. If you're here as an earthling, you're on the path of self-realization. That's what we're here for. We're here to realize the divinity within us. We're here to come into the understanding that we are the very thing itself. We are the very full expression of God in our own unique ways, right? So, you know, just to be here on earth is the process of awakening in this understanding that you, that you, okay. Um, you know, so this, the, the work is to, through our experiences, through our childhood experiences and programming and conditioning and all that is, can we wake up from this stuff? Can we realize from all of these experiences that are challenging or or beautiful or obstacles or you know or what from every experience can we embrace it to help ourselves wake up to help ourselves wake up to realize that this is all but a fucking dream <laughs> and one of the ways that I do that for myself is I just remember circumstances and situations that felt like they were really going that I wasn't going to survive like when my mother died right oh when my mother died oh lord have mercy I felt like the world was over I literally was like how is it possible that I am in so much pain I mean how could I be in so much pain and the world still be going and people still be functioning and things like the pain the agony of my mother's death was just breathtaking I didn't think I would survive it and the fact that I survived it <laughs> the fact that I survived that experience that feeling is it lets me know that this human experience is something different than we think it is I mean I've that I mean just I, I grew up in the crack epidemic like I grew up in an environment where I watched an entire entire community succumb to the woes of crack cocaine. Literally an entire community. And I lived to see it and I, I outlived it. And I've seen people who live through it. And I mean, this world is but a fucking dream. And the more we can not take this shit too fucking seriously, the more we can just be like, Oh, this is fucking happening. I'm going through this experience. You know what I mean? The more we can realize our spiritual power, the more we can realize that there's something emanating, emanating us, animating us and living through us. And as I study and read and understand, we truly are at the effect of the energies. We, we have no, we are we are in these bodies. Try to get out of your body. Try to get out of your body. See if you can get out of your body. <laughs> okay? See if you can. I mean, you can cast your energy and multidimensional travel and all that kind of stuff. But when that shit is done with, where are you going to be? You're going to wake up right in this body. Right? So when you understand that this, this is this. This is your home. This is your prison. This is your palace. This is your everything, right? And so, and this is is stuck to the earth realm. <laughs> this is stuck to the earth realm. Do you understand what I'm saying? The, do you think about this kind of stuff? This is this thing is stuck 
in this earth reality. And there are quadrillions of other realities in other places. And we're so stuck here that we don't even, we can't even get to it. <laughs> but we know through consciousness that there's more, right? But we're in this earth experience. This earth experience is a real thing. And, and we come here to experience ourselves as God. And we're always experiencing ourselves as God because God is creative consciousness. And when we are unaware of our creative consciousness, we experience the negative impact negative not not um negative not in a bad way it's not even bad i just mean on the polarity it's just on a spectrum right there's there's like that end and then there's this end right so when we are unaware that we are in an experience it is divine it is god it is consciousness all thought creates something all feeling is something we can tend to be on the negative end because we're unaware of how it works but then when we begin to wake up and see that oh this is a thing and my thoughts are creating something out there and and these feelings are generating these thoughts that are creating something out there when we become conscious of it we can begin to create consciously let there be happiness let there be light let there be joy and then it will show up because you become more conscious of the fact that you are in an experience and that you are a thing you are the thing itself you are consciousness so today is a sunday and the sun is in leo and the sun is in leo is at 22 degrees and the sun is the expression of our consciousness it's what i'm talking about how do you express the light how do you be the light how does it show up and the most important thing that I understand is learning that, you know, and from my understanding and just know that my perspective is only my, it really is geared through my experience. Okay. I can really only share to the depths of my expansion of my experience. And that's true for all people. Okay. Just so you know, I do understand that there's some things in place that are beyond my experience, like universal law, like cause and effect like all these things don't have anything to do with what my experience they're just what they are right so like i said we are in these bodies that's just what it is there's nothing you can do to get out of this body there's not we are on earth that's what it is you cannot leave the earth plane you here okay now what you get to do with it is up to you on so many levels your consciousness right the sun you how you're going to express it now the thing is you made a contract before you got here because whatever your sun sign is is your contract so you cannot even get out of that like that is fixed it's what it is. You can expand it. You can outgrow it. You can evolve it. You can make it into whatever you want it to be, but you cannot change it. Like you have what your, what your contract is for you to be here is what it is, right? So the real work is you want to get clear about why you're here. Why? I ask myself, why am I in this body that looks like this, that looks like this? Because this is a part of the character of the story that I'm in. Because you know what it means to be a black person in this country that's America. It's a real fucking thing that we have assigned meaning to, right? So why am I in this body that looks like this? And then what can this body do? What can this vehicle do? What, what would this vehicle function at at its highest and best frequency? If it was doing the most profound thing that it can do, what would that look like? And then, and why did, why did I agree to come here? Why? And, and why did whoever the creator is of this reality say yes to me coming here? Also agree to me coming, coming here. Why? Why? What am I up to? Is it so that I can make $100,000 a year or a million dollars a year or a billion dollars a year? Is it so that I can, you know, be fighting against white people and racism and is it so that i can do that is it so that i can have children be a what why why <laughs> why i want to know what am i up to so that i can do it to the best of my ability because ultimately what i've learned from studying history and other realities and and other um 
billions of people who have lived that we will never know their names, right? Is that ultimately this is all a dream and it doesn't matter, really. Like what's going on here, you know, um, on a day-to-day -day basis doesn't matter. But what does matter, the actual physical things don't, but what does matter is the energy behind it. And so the question why and understanding the basic things that I can, cause and effect, I'm in this human body, I'm on this earth plane, you know, I'm in this relationship with the nature and the cycle, so I wanna learn how the earth plane works because this place has a system. It has rules, right? It, it works with rules. We see night and day, hemispheres, you know, cycles, all of this. So I need to understand the, the what of this thing so that I can get in my lane, okay? I wanna get in my lane and do what my agreement is here and live it out to the best of my ability so that when I'm complete with each day or each experience or each agreement, I can say, okay, I did that. Thank you. And I know that I'm in alignment with my higher self. I know that I'm in alignment with the force of the sun, the force of the moon, the force, because I have made agreements with all of this. I have made agreements with the trees, with the ants, with the, because the soul is in all things. There is no place where we don't exist in this reality. It's just that we have confined ourselves to this consciousness that says that this body is all that it is. But once I do the studying, I realize, oh, there is no, we're boundless. We're boundless. But the body gives us the illusion that we're separate. Gives us the, the, gives us the illusion that this is all that it is. But when I understand oneness, I know that this rock, this rock, this rock really is my brother, for real. You know what I mean? This rock really is a part of me. You are a part of me. We are a part of one another. So, you know, today, while the sun is at the 22nd degree of Leo and the moon, when I checked, was also at the 22nd degree of Scorpio, Leo is your creative self-expression, expression your creative identity, the light within you, the light within you, and the light that lighteth up everything because you are the sun, right? So it's like really taking responsibility for being the light for everything in your consciousness. And what you get to do is shine your light, your curiosity, your creativity on absolutely everything that comes through your mind. You get to shine your light on it. You get to question it. What is this? Why? Who? Why should I engage with this? What is, what is this offering me? What can I offer this? Can I bring love to this? Can I, can I bring acceptance to this? Can I see myself in this? Can I embody this? One of the things that I've been doing lately, um, I do this every so now and again, once a year, I watch the matrix over and over and over again, so that I can understand how to navigate reality and understanding that we are one with all things and where I'm in my consciousness rejecting things, right? So for me, rejecting racism or rejecting ideas and identities around white supremacy because they feel like a threat to me. And I understand that that is just an aspect of the human experience as I begin to comb through it and see the opposition in it, the shadow in it, and get curious about it. And as I get curious about it, like Neo would do with Mr. the whatever his name was, I can't think of it, they would absorb one another. Those opposites absorb one another. And it, as I can absorb the things that feel like they are in opposition to me, I actually grow my power. I grow my capacity to create realities because I'm not at odds with anything. And, and the, when we're not at odds with anything, we integrate and we become more powerful within ourselves. So this is a high concept and I understand people don't get it. So it's, if, you, if you really are on the spiritual journey, <laughs> if your journey is about transmutation and healing and trans, you know, really, um, really becoming one, becoming the one, the one, the one is within, you have to create oneness. <laughs> you have to 
eliminate the idea of separation to become the one, right? And that's what Leo is. It is the one. So, um, and in and, and doing so, you have to assimilate the things that you are at odds with, within yourself, within your own consciousness. You have to assimilate it. You have to, you have to harmonize it, integrate it, and then it will become your power. It will, it will become what you are. Go watch The Matrix. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All right, you all. Um, the moon in Scorpio, the 22nd degree, the moon in Scorpio. So let me tell you guys, I have been dealing with so much sexual energy right now with this moon in Scorpio because sexual energy and um, sexual energy is alchemy. It's creative energy. It's the power of God within us. It is our creative power. So right now, whatever it is we're focusing on, we are creating. The Scorpio energy is very intense. It's a really nice opportunity to um, to take a ride, <laughs> but to take a ride intentionally, right? Um, for the sake of pleasure, but for the sake of what you can create out of the pleasure, right? Because Leo is the heart, so you want to open your heart. You want to open your experience of your womb, your creative, your creative um, um, coven within yourself, or your creative covenant between you and another right and you want to explore the realms and the edges of pleasure and as you do that you want to bring consciousness into it so that you can infuse that energy towards your highest vision for yourself for your highest vision for another so if you want to heal your body right if there are places in your body that have pain you can use that energy to send um, light to those places inside of your body. You can use that energy to send to places in your mind where you're at odds, where you don't have peace within yourself. If there are people that you are at odds with, you can send them. You pull that energy up from the perineum all the way up to the heart, and then you send that field of energy and pleasure. You call those people into it in your own consciousness. You call them into that space of pleasure in your heart and your body all the way up and you hold them in that light until that energy begins to dissolve and that's how we begin to heal all right you all peace and blessings i'm finished i love y'all have a wonderful day <laughs> talk to you soon bye-bye